so, so, so. Cleaning the house isn't my favorite job, but today I'm sharing with you how I keep my house clean using a few eco-friendly, simple DIY cleaning products. The best thing about this is that it only takes a couple of products to clean my entire house. So let's get started. Now the key to taking the hard work out of cleaning is having the right tools for the job. I put together this cleaning caddy with a basket from Kmart and my favorite Simply Clean products. And they were designed right here in New Zealand by a mum of three. They're all really well priced and for the most part can be reused over and over again, which I really love. But the best part for me is that all of the sponges, scrubbers and dusters are labeled. So you don't end up using the toilet sponge on the kitchen countertops and getting them completely confused. And I love that. So my favorite cleaning product that I make on the regular is a multi-purpose spray and it is really simple and can be used on quite a lot of areas in the house. And all it is is one cup of water, three tablespoons of Castile soap and some essential oil or in this case I use eucalyptus oil because I love the smell and I love my countertops and my house to smell nice. So it also has um, disinfectant properties and I just love it. So this is a really simple recipe and as I said it can be used on most places in the house and I just buy a reusable spray bottle and pretty much mix up as much as I need when I need to use it and I use it all over my kitchen countertops and on the cupboards in my kitchen and it's just a really handy product to have in my cleaning caddy. These microfiber cloths are amazing too because they can be used wet or dry and they are machine washable so you can use them over and over again. And if I want my house to smell really lovely, I use these citrus scented cleaning cloths to just finish off the job. They are really easy to use and you can use them wet or dry and they leave your house smelling amazing. My multi-purpose cleaner is also great for using in the bathroom and the Castile soap comes in lots of different scents and the one that I'm using is eucalyptus but you can get lavender or lemon or lots and lots of various scents and it's basically a concentrated product so a little goes a long way. And yep, these microfiber cloths are amazing. My next DIY cleaning product only contains two ingredients and that is vinegar and water. And it's absolutely great for cleaning glass, mirrors, and windows. So all you do is add a cup of water to a cup of vinegar and pop it in your spray bottle, give it a shake, and you are good to go. I use this product in my favorite window cleaner, and this little gadget is the bee's knees. As you can see, it has its own little bottle, and I fill it with my favorite cleaning product and then you just screw the top on and you are good to go. All you do is you squirt some of your cleaning product onto the glass or whatever it is you're cleaning and use the soft side to actually rub it around and clean it and then you just flip it over and use the squeegee to remove all the excess moisture and water. This recipe is great and it leaves absolutely no streaks on windows and mirrors. And this little gadget takes all the hard work out of it. As you can see, it's really easy to use and you end up with a streak free result and a very clean looking mirror. This particular mirror has a beveled edge and I usually just grab a buffing cloth to make sure that I get every little bit of cleaning product out of the cracks and crevices and just buff the mirror to finish off. 
The other product that I use all the time is Pure and Simple Baking Soda. And you'll just need a canister for this, and this is the one that I use. It's a mesh canister, and it used to be used for drinking chocolate, and I just find it really handy. It does a great job cleaning stainless steel and for instance this kitchen sink I just sprinkle it around and then I spray a little bit of my glass cleaner and you can see that the vinegar actually reacts with the baking soda and if you leave it for a couple of minutes it starts to bubble and starts to lift off the grime and then I just use my kitchen scourer and with the rough scourer side first and give that a good scrub and then I just rinse it out turn it over and this one has a nice soft terry toweling side on the other side and just rinse off all of that baking soda and cleaning product Product. And then I grab my microfiber cloth and just dry everything down. I use the same combination of products to clean my bathroom and I just find that they do a really good job and it means that I don't have to spend a whole lot of money on expensive toxic chemicals. It also means that I can clean my entire house with only three products. And again, I think the key here too is really having the right tools for the job and having a place for them all to live as well. So when it does come time to cleaning, you know exactly where all of your tools and your products are. The baking soda does a great job of cleaning the toilet too and all you do is sprinkle it around the bowl and then I spray my glass window cleaner because that has some vinegar in it which reacts with the baking soda. It's hard to see here but it is actually fizzing and then I just use the toilet brush to give it a good scrub and then wipe down the edges of the toilet and you are done. It's really that simple. And if you're doing it regularly, it doesn't build up. Castile soap is really amazing. And as I said earlier, it is a concentrated soap and it can be used in pretty much every DIY cleaning product. I always put a few drops in my soap dispensing brush and then just fill it up with water. And this brush is great because you just press the button and it lets out a little bit of soap and as you can see the castile soap mixed with water is enough to give you a soapy sudsy clean and the best thing about this soap is that it's eco-friendly and it's made from vegetable fats and no animal fats so you can feel good about using it in your home I also use it in this smart brush and yeah I just add a little squirt and then top it up with water and the great thing about this brush is you just press it, press the top of it when you want some detergent to come out and it's great for scrubbing pots and pans and it really helps to remove all sorts of grime really quickly and easily and it fits really perfectly into your hand and takes the hard work out of scrubbing those pots and pans. I don't dust very often but when I do I use these Simply Clean dusters and they come with disposable heads and the, the fibres are actually designed to attract and trap the dust so it kind of makes them really effective and easy to use. And I find that these dusters last for a long long time and I really don't have to replace them very often at all which is handy. What I do tend to use more often is this microfiber duster and it can be used wet or dry and it has a little bottle that I fill with my favorite cleaning product and in this case I'm just using my multi-purpose product and it's great for using on like tables like this that basically you can see fingerprints and marks and I just give it a bit of a squirt and a spray and then use a buffing cloth to get rid of the excess moisture. My multi-purpose spray is also really good for using on cooktops and ovens and if you do have baked on grime you can just use the baking soda to help lift that first. But yeah this multi-purpose spray is really good and it does tend to do a good job if you are doing it pretty regularly. If you do have a few bits that are baked on I just grab my kitchen scourer and that seems to lift them pretty quickly and easily too.
And then I just use the microfiber cloth and that wipes away all the grease and oil and anything else that's left on the cooktop. I also love these little sponge holders and they just stick to the inside of your cupboard door and your sponges pop in them and they can dry there. So it's really handy. I hope you've enjoyed this video and it's inspired you to create my DIY cleaning products so you too can have an eco-friendly cleaning routine at home.